Yeah, um, I just want to first of all say thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, Aaron and I are so blessed to have you share this special day with us. Um, we apologize that it is so late, <laughs> but we're so glad for those of you that decided to stay and celebrate with us and continue to be here and present with us on our special day. Um, I want to start off by saying a special thank you to Aaron's parents. Um, without you, I would not have my husband. <laughs> I'm grateful for teaching him about Jesus and raising him in a space where he was able to at least be introduced to him. Uh, Mommy Grace, you have my heart, and I am so honored that I get to be your daughter. You have shown me nothing but kindness, and um, I've, I've always had this fear of marrying um, a Ugandan man because of the stories I've heard about mothers-in-law, <laughs> but Mommy Grace has been so kind to me like my own mother and I'm so grateful thank you so much and um, I want to I'm, I'm gonna keep my speech short because it's late um, but I do want to say a special special thank you to my parents um, mom and dad I love you both so much um, you've made home a difficult place to le leave um, um, <laughs> I almost wanted to stay a little girl forever because I was treated like a princess at home. And um, I, I want to argue that it's not in a way that I was spoiled. I was just favored, okay? It was favor. It was the favor of the Lord. <laughs> and um, mommy... You've, over the years, you've become one of my best friends. I, I can tell you anything from the beginning of me and Aaron. You knew everything. You were the one that advised me. I, I asked you questions, and you listened, and you questioned me. You challenged me when I needed to be challenged, and you encouraged me and supported me when I needed to be supported. And I'm so grateful. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I should kneel when I'm addressing my parents. <laughs> I'm so grateful, Mom. And also, I am I kneel as well to you. I'm sorry. I, I forgot about it. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, Mom and Dad. Mom, I'm so grateful that you were not only um, my mom and you disciplined me and you corrected me when I was wrong, but you allowed yourself to be close to me to where I could share like everything with you and I just want to say mamas who are watching new moms if you are a mom and you have a teenage daughter or a daughter who is around my age I just want to encourage you to be a friend to your daughter because there's something special that a mom's wisdom can do in a daughter's life and so I just want to encourage you in that thank you mom I love you so much um, and to dad, <laughs> my dad, um, I love you so much, dad. I, I just have this um, memory of, in my head of when you, um, you took me on a date and you, you were like, Jackie, dress up really nice. We're going to go out. And so we went on a date and he took me to dinner. We went to a movie and he was very... Um, I don't know how to say it other than professional and kind and courteous. And then after the date and we got home, he was like, Jackie, that's how a man should treat you. And you shouldn't feel like you owe them anything because you are deserving of being respected, of being treated kindly, of being talked to nicely. And I carried that with me. And I don't think he knew how deeply that resonated with me. But 
even in my lowest moments, I would remember that time and be like, no, I, I know better. I know who I am. And I just want to say, all you ladies out there, don't settle for second best. Don't settle just because you feel your time is clicking. Don't settle for any of that. Know your worth. I was lucky enough to have a father who instilled that to me, not just in that date, but every single day I was in my home, my father treated me like a princess. And so... I have that honor and that luxury, and maybe you don't, but you have a heavenly father who regards you just as highly or even more highly because he created you and he knows what he put inside of you. So I just want to encourage you to lean into that identity of knowing that you're special and deeply loved, um, if not by your earthly father, by the God of all of the universe um and so dad i just want to say thank you so much i love you i love you both so dearly and all of my family that showed up for me thank you all i i'm truly honored and blessed and all of the people that i serve with and awakening and clc thank you for coming um yes Hi. amen Amen. Uh, we thank God for this day. It's a beautiful day. Uh, although it's late, uh, I just want to thank everyone that stayed with us, all the friends, the family. Um, I want to thank my parents because I wouldn't be here without you. And I also want to thank the parents of Jackie for giving me such a beautiful queen. Um, everything I know about, most of the stuff I know about music, my dad told me, it wasn't always nice. I used to get Chiboko to, <laughs> to learn how to play keyboard. But uh, what he instilled in me made a way for me in different places, and I want to thank you for that. Um, I want to thank God for my mom. She is a strong woman. Um, I could tell my mom that I want to be a pilot right now. And she would tell me what are we going to do. <laughs> she believes in anything I believe. And that's so rare. You're such a gem. A gift from God to me, and I love you so much. My mom is a prayer warrior. When I wake up in the morning, she's praying. When I go to sleep, she's praying. <laughs> and um, I just want to inherit that as well. And I think I've learned enough uh, f about praying from you. I just respect you so much, mom. I want to thank. Jackie's family as well, uh, Pastor Jackson Senyonga, who is my dad now, <laughs> and Mommy Eva Senyonga. Um, Mommy Eva has been sweet all the way. From the first time I met her until now, she's been encouraging, she's been loving, she has believed in me. Um, she has believed in me when I had nothing to show. And that shows that um, she has this eye to see what no other people can see. I believe mothers have that. Yeah. And uh, she's such a wonderful mother. Thank you for raising Jackie. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for believing in me. I want to thank uh, Pastor Jackson Senyonga. When I met him the first time, it was not easy. <laughs> it was tough. <laughs> Mom Eva told me, when you meet him, don't expect him to smile. He won't smile. <laughs> <laughs> but um, before I met you I prayed and fasted for about two months <laughs> I knew I had to get my vision straight my purpose in life I was ready for those questions but I knew that God was going to lead me and me and my mom prayed about that meeting and my mom would tell me 
I saw this vision and I saw Pastor Jackson smiling. I was like, okay, I need that. <laughs> I need that. So um, when I met Pastor Jackson, it was um, tough at the beginning, but at the end, he had this big smile and he told me, welcome to the family. And um, I believe I've seen a side of him that most people don't see. He's one of the sweetest people I know. Very caring, very protective, very thoughtful. I'm glad to call you dad. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to thank Nelson and the collective team. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't know Nelson, but what he's doing, the way he's humble and the way he's given his life, both him and Sharon, to changing young people's lives, it's something that is, um, I know it's applauded in heaven. Thank you so much for opening the doors of your home to me allowing me to spend nights at studio making music, uh, having dinner with me. When you eat at Nelson's place, he doesn't eat until everyone else eats, mm. even when the food is not enough. And that, that is so humbling. Nelson, I can say that you saved my life. Mm. I met you in a time and in a moment where life was really hard, but being close to you made me fall in love with serving God again. And I respect you for that, Nelson. Lastly, I thank my entourage as well. Oh, yeah. oh, my boys. I love you so much, guys. You guys are brothers for life. And everyone that has contributed to this wedding. Yeah. Sorry. Jackie wants to say something. I also want to thank my lovely entourage. <laughs> I forgot. But some of my girlies flew in from the States to come to this wedding and so I just want to recognize and appreciate you guys. I love y'all so much. <clears throat> yes, uh, in conclusion I thank everyone uh, who's had uh, to take a flight as we well to come, James and Neville Holland, my team from Zambia. <laughs> thank you for coming through and Jackie's friends from the States. We love you so much and um, may God bless you all. Bria ina wa kutte kulaba ngembage no eberawo mukama badizewo omukisa ogo muyika era nga gusukundidwa abanka kufunya ko Yeah God bless you all we love you AJ forever Abagore mu bakubira obugalo bwa man Ovanga kumusajja agamba shake it together ngagusu kundi dwa <sighs> Bonger of God Ah you know there are some things that you can't fake you know like you know what Jackie when you're speaking English yeah serious English it's okay if you don't kneel Kubang omana gami oh my god my parents nangaba but nangama vv <laughs> Oh my God! Kali viva de tebi nyuma. We gamba aba obalanga wazade mutusoni. Sometimes the zoom doesn't match the culture. Kali no. Oh my God! Muge na kola sente. You're going to be successful. Tu basabira omuksa. My mother is also watching, and she wishes you well. Eh, she has said it's a beautiful wedding. Yeah, so my mother has also given you a gift. Yeah, she's been watching from morning. Yes, the whole day. Munange fe TV and Dalazo Natu has a jam TV. Tuina topu yoka. Oh, it. I'll take 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 it. I'll take